What is up guys, Tavius here, and today we gotta talk about the most ridiculous Liar's Handshake melee build for Hunters with R3.0. I've been running this build on the King's Fall Raid, and it's absolutely nuts. If you get any value out of this video, you already know what to do, so let's begin. Now, before we talk about the aspects and fragments, let's go over what Liar's Handshake does for those of you that are new. It is a random exotic drop released during Season of the Drifter. The exotic perk is Cross Counter. Using your arc melee ability or being hit by a melee attack will allow you to follow up with an extremely powerful melee counterpunch that would heal you. This description alone shows you the potential of this exotic. This is why it was my number one most anticipated exotic for hunters going into arc 3.0. Okay, so punching or being punched gives us an extremely powerful counterpunch with healing. Now let's go over the subclass keeping this in mind. I'm using the new Super Gathering Storm, which I am obsessed with for PvE. I love stabbing bosses with my staff and have them run around with it stuck to their heads. For our dodge, we're definitely going with Gambler's Dodge for this build since dodging near enemies recharges our melee ability. I'm using Triple Jump, but if you master Blink, you go right ahead and knock yourself out. Now for our melee, Combination Blow hands down. A quick strike that temporarily increases your melee damage when defeating a target, stacking 3 times. Defeating targets with this ability also fully refills your dodge and restores a small amount of health. More healing. We're not even halfway done with this build, and just with our exotic, our dodge, and our melee, we're already buffing our melee damage and healing ourselves. Let's keep going. For grenade, you can choose whichever you prefer. Um, I always swap between storm and pulse, but totally up to you. Okay, time for the aspects, and it's about to get nuts. Lethal current. After dodging, your next melee attack has increased range, jolts the target, and creates a damaging aftershock. Plus damaging any jolted target with melee attacks also blinds them. This is important because blinding the target will prevent them from attacking you. Even if you just started your melee spam on a boss, blinding them will allow you to stock up that melee damage while they're blinded so you can easily melt them, it's super effective. For the second aspect we have flow state. Defeating a jolted target makes you amplified. So far we can only jolt targets with our super gathering storm, and with our melee right after our dodge, thanks to lethal current. So what happens when we become amplified? Our dodge recharges more quickly, we are more resilient while dodging, and our weapon reload speed is greatly increased. Moving on to the fragments. Since this is a melee build, we're going to be surrounded by enemies most of the time, so we got the spark of resistance. While surrounded by combatants, you are more resistant to incoming damage, giving us plus 10 to our melee. Then the Spark of Ions, defeating a jolted target creates an Ionic Trace. Remember that we will jolt targets with our super and with our melee after a dodge, and Ionic Traces refill ability energy. Next is the Spark of Recharge. While critically wounded, your melee and grenade energy recharges more quickly. Being in the trenches surrounded by enemies will have you critically wounded sometimes, and this comes in very handy to get you out of that situation with a quick melee that replenishes health or a grenade. And for the last fragment, we have the Spark of Feedback. Taking melee damage briefly increases your outgoing melee damage, with an extra 10 to resilience. So this fragment is insane paired with Liar's Handshake. Bosses a lot of times do their stun mechanic or some type of melee when you're too close, so this increases your melee damage on top of what Liar's Handshake does so you can go back and steamroll everyone. So that's it for the subclass and you can already tell how crazy this is getting. But don't forget about the mods, boys. But before that, for your stats, you're gonna want to spec for Resilience, primarily. Once I got mine to 100, then I went for Super, since our melee will replenish itself pretty much. Okay, so on my helmet, I've equipped the Hands-On mod for bonus Super Energy on melee kills, and Well of Ions to increase our melee damage for our first punch after picking up an Arc Elemental Well. This helps if you've been out of combat for a second and don't have any buffs yet, it can help you get started on your melee spam. On our Lyre's Handshake, we have Focus and Strike from the Season Artifact, only for Season 18. Grants ability energy when you cause damage with the melee, so we're replenishing our dodge here. And Elemental Armaments, getting kills with an Arc Weapon have an escalating chance to spawn an Arc Elemental Well. Arc Wells to replenish all abilities. Now for our chest piece, we have a double Thermoshock Plating to resist incoming solar and arc damage, and a Well of Striking. Picking up an Arc Elemental Well grants you additional melee energy. Just in case your melee runs out, you know picking up an Arc Elemental Well will give you a big chunk of energy. Now for our legs, I went with Invigoration, which reduces melee cooldown when you pick up an Oru Power, and Melee Wellmaker to spawn more Arc Wells with power melee kills. 
So now we're spawning Arc Elemental Wells with our weapon kills and with power melee kills. And last, going over our class item, I'm going with Lightning Strike twice from the Seasonal Artifact. After throwing your grenade, you gain increased grenade recharge for a short time, plus our kills extend the duration of this benefit. This is the only mod we have that benefits our grenade, other than all the Arc Elemental Wells and Ionic Traces we will get, that's why I decided to go with it. So I didn't include any champion mods, but there's room for one mod if you need it on our arms. Now let's go into some weapon recommendations. I went into King's Fog with double linear fusion rifle and it worked very well for me. On my kinetic slot, Arbalest with Catalyst. Intrinsic anti-barrier if needed and lots of damage and range. On my heavy slot, my new favorite Storm Chaser from the Duality Dungeon, with Vorpal Weapon, Rapid Hit and a boss spec. This thing is a monster against the War Priest. And for my energy weapon, I was using a simple, crafted, sweet sorrow arc auto rifle from Season of the Risen to help generate those arc elemental wells. One thing I love about this auto rifle is the Origin Trade Land Tank, which grants us increased resilience and additional damage resistance with kills. Pretty nice. This also has Turnabout, granting us an overshield when we break an arc shield with it, and Pulse Monitor to automatically reload the mag when we're wounded. Now, other great weapon options are Wither Horror for your kinetic. Thunderlord for your heavy weapon. You can even go with the Trinity Gold bow, but since you want to be up close to the enemies, having a bow can be a little hard to work with. Also, another great option is the Ancient Legend of Acrius, since now it has Trench Barrel, and Trench Barrel activates with melee hits. There's also unstoppable shotgun mods, so that's definitely a weapon worth considering. Alright, so with this Hunter Arc 3.0 build, we're going to steamroll through enemies with our fists. Liar's Handshake will receive boosts from all directions with our Gambler's Dodge, our Combination Blow Melee, our Lethal Current Aspect, our Spark of Recharge, and our Spark of Feedback Fragments. Our Spark of Resistance will help us resist incoming damage while surrounded, and while wounded, our Spark of Recharge will regenerate our melee and grenade more quickly. Melee kills will also give us extra super energy for our Gathering Storm Super with hands-on, while also recharging our dodge with Focus and Strike. And our grenade would also benefit from the Lightning Strikes Twice mod for an invincible Arc Hunter God of Punches. And there you have it guys. I had heard about how nuts Light's Handshake was, but it wasn't until I sat down to mess with it that I realized it's dumb how good it is. But don't believe me, just go try it yourself. If you got any value out of this video and want to show support, you can simply like this video and subscribe to the channel. My name is Tavius Place, and all my contact information is down in the description. Let me know in the comments if you're liking the new Gathering Storm Super for Hunters. I'd like to know your thoughts. I thank you all for your viewership, and if you'd like to watch other informative Destiny 2 videos, you can click here.